What's good everybody? Welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons and today I'm going to show you how to draw someone on crutches. Now the first thing that I'm going to do since we're going to be drawing the full body in this video I'm going to start by mapping out the line of action and if you don't know what the line of action is it's just one swift line stroke that maps the initial movement of the body and since this is toned paper I'm going to use one of my gray markers because if I use this gray marker later on it'll disappear in the video so that way you can see what the drawing looks like without the line of action still being visible but after I draw it now you get a feeling on what the line of action looks like before it does disappear but what I am gonna do is make one swift line stroke with this brush pen here like that so that's gonna mark the initial movement of the body so I'm gonna put this away for now so we won't need it no more and what I'm gonna start off by doing is drawing the face so I'm gonna quickly do that, but if you wanna learn how to draw the face, I got several videos on how to draw the face, how to draw the face at a three quarter view, how to draw it at a profile view, how to draw it at a front view, and even back three quarter view. So if you want links to those videos, they will be in the description down below, but links to one of them will be right up here in the card. But for now, I'm just gonna sketch in the face because that's what we're gonna need first. So as you can see, I drew the face looking down, and by the end of the video, it'll start to make sense why I did that. But after drawing the face, let's go ahead and draw the neck. The way I'm going to draw the neck is it's going to match the direction of the line of action. So it's going to make a curve to like the bottom left, and that's what the neck is going to be sort of positioned like. Okay, and then when we draw someone with crutches, it's going to go around the arms. So let's draw the body first and then worry about the arms later. So the way I have the line of action, it's going to make a curve so that way the back of this character will also have a curve like this. And then I'm just going to draw in a, the torso or the shirt actually. like that so the body is going to be sort of at a curve like this okay and now let's draw in the legs so I'm going to draw one leg standing up straight like this and then the other one we'll get to in a second and I'll show you what we're going to do because we're going to be doing something a little bit different compared to how we're going to draw this leg but this one's the easy part when it comes to drawing of the leg so I'm just going to start off by making just one cylinder for one part of the leg, like this. And then use another cylinder to draw the rest of the leg. And then I'm just going to draw in a shoe. So that way it looks like he's standing on, on ground. That way we establish some ground. So I'm just uh, messing around drawing the shoe. And then I'm just going to draw in some lines that I think are necessary for the leg. And he's wearing jeans too, so I'm going to draw that in too. Just uh, like this. Okay, so that's one leg. And like I said, he's wearing jeans, so it's gonna be this shape around the crotch. Okay, and now we're on to this leg. So the way I'm gonna draw this leg is I'm not gonna have it pressed to the ground. I'm actually gonna have it elevated a little bit so that way it doesn't exactly touch the ground, but like the toes kinda touch the ground at least a little bit. But this leg will also be bent over here. I'll show you. So let's draw the leg with a cylinder like we did on this one. Okay, and then from the knee, which is this area here, we can begin to draw the rest of the leg in. And like I said, it's going to be bent. So it's not going to be straight like this one, it's going to be bent. 
and I'm just gonna draw in the rest of the jeans. And since the rest of the leg is kind of hiding behind this one, we don't have to worry about drawing the shoe or the foot or whatever. But since this character is being drawn with crutches, I'm gonna draw like a little cast on him, like or a foot brace, whatever this is actually called, but I'm gonna draw in a cast. like this so the entire drawing even though it is a sketch so that way it makes sense all right so that's the legs now let me zoom out so you guys can see the entire drawing so far and actually let me make the face a little bit smaller real quick Okay, so here's what our drawing looks like so far. And now we can begin drawing the arms with the crutches. So, let's go over here to this arm. And actually, let me zoom in too. So when we're drawing someone with crutches, we're going to elevate the shoulders just a little bit. Because the shoulders are really supposed to start over here based on this position. But when we're drawing someone with crutches, we're going to elevate them just a little bit. So... Let's start off drawing a circle for the shoulders real quick in an upward position like this. Well, elevated, I meant. Okay, and using the principles of anatomy, the arm would usually stop right around here where the mid thigh is. Well, actually the arm and the hand together, they would stop at the mid thigh. But since the shoulder elevates the arm just a little bit, the hand is not gonna necessarily stop at the mid thigh. So it's gonna stop just a little bit above that. So like right around here where the pocket is. So supposedly that's where the hand is gonna stop. So let's first make the guidelines for our arm. I'm just gonna draw like uh, two lines. You can worry about drawing the actual arm in a second. And then the hand would go here, like I said, where the pocket is. And then this would be the elbow. But now that we got the movement of the arm done, let's go ahead and draw it. Just gonna draw the arm matching the guideline that we drew. And then just draw the hand gripping on one of the handles on the crutch. So just making just a fist. Like that. And now let's begin drawing the actual crutch. So it's going to start right here where the armpit is. I'm just going to draw like a little rectangle shape. Or rectangular prism kind of shape or you can make this shape one of those curved ones it looks like a hot dog up here you can do that as well but I'm gonna draw it like this and then I'm just gonna draw a line coming off of there coming down and then going right to where we made this fist and just drawing a line from there and we're gonna make this into a beam And then let's extend this rectangle over here, past the arm. Okay, so that's one crutch. Okay, and now from here we can begin to make them come together down here. So we're going to make somewhat of a V shape. That way these beams kind of come together down here. And then we can make one beam that comes to the ground like this. And then a piece of rubber at the bottom too. So that's what most crutches have. Okay. 
and now with all the extra guidelines that we don't need anymore we can erase those so that way it doesn't look like a million or something lines drawing a crutch so like right here on the fist the guidelines of the arms we can get rid of and then this part of the pants that we drew over top of when we drew the crutch And then over here, I'm just gonna draw in the rest of the shirt because my character here is wearing a shirt. I wanna just uh, further show that by drawing a shirt on one of the arms that we drew so far. And just erase those guidelines. Okay, so that's one crutch. Now let's go ahead to the other side and draw another one. But keep in mind, this body is at a three-quarter view, so there's only so much of this crutch that we're gonna see. So when we're drawing the crutch on the other side, we're pretty much matching the shapes that we drew over here. So, rectangle up here. Big beam. That extends to about here, where the, where the shirt ends. And then it comes in, making a V shape. I'm gonna draw over the top of my leg, just so I can help visualize what I'm going for. And then it comes in, and I think it's gonna stop right about here. So that way I can draw like a little standing beam that goes to the ground. Part of that will be visible behind this leg. And then you can just finish it off. Like that, and then we can erase this line. So, all right, so we're almost done. So now all we gotta do is draw in the other arm. And like we did over here, the shoulder's elevated a little bit. But on this side, it's gonna be covered up by a part of the face. But we can just go lightly and draw in some guidelines over here, or actually a circle for the shoulder. And then from there, we can do what we did earlier with the arm position and just draw just a straight line like this. There we go. So that's one part of the arm, and now let's finish it by coming inward. And there we go. And then we won't see much of the fist, but if you can get a little bit of it in there, you can do that. But now I'm gonna draw in the other sleeve of the shirt to help make the drawing make sense. And then just erase the guidelines of the arm we don't need anymore. And there we go. So we're pretty much done at this point. But what I am going to do is draw like a little backpack on this character. As if they're in school. You know, getting ready to go to class or whatever on the crutch. So I'm just going to draw like a few backpack straps. Not going to be easy to see. But I'm going to see if I can get a little something in there. backpack strap and then let's match the line of action when drawing the backpack but that's barely visible now but remember it made some sort of a curve somewhat like this so we can do that with the backpack that's back here and then I'm just gonna color that in make it dark
and there we go we got us a book bag on our character so what I'm gonna do in time-lapse here on out is I'm gonna make a little face expression on this character and finalize the sketch at the same time and then come back to you guys and end the video but in advance if you guys want to learn how to draw face expressions I got a video up here talking about how to do just that but that's what I'm gonna do for my character and like I said I'm gonna finalize the sketch at the same time and I'm gonna do that in time-lapse so I'll make the video super long so let's go Alright, and that's how you draw someone on crutches. And as you can see, the face expression, the line of action, and the cast that's down here, it all ties the illustration together and makes sense. But, if you liked the video or if you found it useful, give it a like and a comment, subscribe if you haven't, and tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And I'll see you in my next video. I